Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to create a probability distribution table for a proportion sampling distribution. Here's our problem statement. Three randomly selected households are surveyed. The number of peoples in the households are 3, 5, and 10. Assume that samples of size n equals 2 are randomly selected with replacement from the population of 3, 5, and 10. Construct a probability distribution table that describes a sampling distribution of the proportion of odd numbers when samples of sizes n equal 2 are randomly selected. Does the mean of the sample proportions equal the proportion of odd numbers in the population? Do the same proportions target the value of the population proportion? Does the sample proportion make a good estimator of the population proportion? Listed below are the nine possible samples. Okay, we see here the list of nine possible samples, and we're at the first part asks us to construct a probability distribution table. Many students see this type of problem, and it's really intimidating because they just have no clue how to proceed to solve this problem. But once you understand how to do it, it's really pretty simple. I find that this type of problem is actually easier to work in Excel than StackCrunch. You can work it in StackCrunch, but for this type of problem, StackCrunch is really clumsy. So I'm going to work this problem in Excel because Excel does it much quicker and it's much easier to manipulate what we need to do in Excel than it is in StackCrunch. So here's my problem in Excel. So we're going to enable editing. Then I'm going to this window here where we can actually see what's going on. Okay, now we have the data here in Excel. So what we're going to do first is look for the proportion of odd numbers in each of these samples. Because here in the problem statement, we're looking for a sampling distribution of the proportion of odd numbers. So all we do is we look and see how many odd numbers do we have in each sample. So here I've got two, and there's two numbers total, so that's 100% which is 1. And here I've got, again, two odd numbers, so that's also 100%. Here I've got one odd number, so that's 50%. And here we've got two odd numbers, so that's 100%. And I'm just going to keep going down each individual row here. All right, there's my proportions. And this bar here drives me nuts. So I'm going to get rid of it here real quick. Uh, if I can just see, I gotta blow this up so I can see what I'm doing. And I want no border. Whoops. Here we go. Now we're all set. So here I've got all the proportions. And now what I want to do is I want to copy this column. And I'm going to stick it over here. We're going to stick just the numbers only. And now I'm going to sort the column by going to data. And then I can go to sort or I can just click this little quick button here because I want to sort from smallest to largest. So now we see here that we've got three numbers in our distribution. The first one is zero, so I'm going to set that here. And the next one is one half. And the last one is one. Probability. So the probability is the part over the whole. How many zeros do I have? Well, I've got one, and there's nine numbers total. 
So therefore, my probability is the part over the whole, 1 over 9, or 1 ninth. I do the same thing for each of the other numbers. So here I've got 4 out of 9 total. So it's going to be 4, 9. Same thing with the 1. There's 4 of them over 9 total. Check my answer. Fantastic! Now the next part of this problem asks me to choose the correct answer below. There's four different options here, so let's see what we're looking at. Here we're comparing the proportion of odd numbers with the mean of the sample proportions. So let's go ahead and calculate that here in our Excel. How many odd numbers do we have in our data set? I've got one, two, three, four, and let's go through here and select all the odd numbers. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, I'm holding down the shift key. No wonder it doesn't work. I have to hold down the control key. So select individual cells. I don't know why that wasn't working. It looks like, yep, all the odd numbers. So down here my count is 12 out of 18 total. So I can just calculate that here. 12 divided by 18 is going to be 2 thirds. I can do the same thing with the mean of the sample proportions. Here are my sample proportions. All I have to do is just take the average of that column. And it looks like they're the same. So the proportion of odd numbers in the population is equal to the mean of the sample proportions of odd numbers. So I select the answer option that tells me that. Whoops. I selected the wrong one. Oh, proportion of even numbers. I want proportion of odd numbers. Good job. And now the last part of this problem says choose the correct answer below. Again, we've got four answer options here. And it looks like these answer options are talking about how good of an estimator sample proportions are. Well, sample proportions are unbiased estimators. So they're going to make a good estimator of the population proportion. And we can see an example of that here with these two numbers that we calculated from the previous part of the problem. This number represents the population, this number represents the sample, and we can see that the two are equal. So the sample statistic is targeting the population parameter. So what makes a good estimator? So I'm going to select the answer option that tells me that. So they do target, so we don't want A or B, we want C or D. And it does make a good estimator, so I'm going to want answer option C. Nice work! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below. Let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.